last night it's the first time I've ever done it is because I got loaded so late um, I had to use the personal conveyance to get up here to the truck stop so I only went about 15 miles uh, to get up here to the truck stop from where we loaded but uh, it's the first time I've ever had to use uh, the personal conveyance for that so uh, which I guess is good otherwise if I would have used personal personal conveyance and flip over and she'll be driving I would just have to put a notation in there that I was driving to a safe haven and uh, call the log department on Monday oh, it's just sliding around it's not that bad the temperature outside only says it's 20 29 and but the wind is blowing pretty good and uh, I did my best. I got some of the snow off the hood. I did my best to clean it up. I filled up the washer fluid thingamajiggy because we're going to use a lot of that today. Um, we're going straight down Highway 47, which is this road right here at the traffic light. We're going to run that down to Interstate 74, run that over to Indianapolis, and there's a Petro on the other side of Indianapolis that hopefully we can get there by dark. I probably should have left about an hour ago. Um, hopefully uh, we get there by dark and uh, we'll camp out there. And then tomorrow we'll run over to where we got to unload and uh, camp out there. They said they had parking, overnight parking there. But uh, no, this week, this week has been busy been good we've had I've had a good couple of weeks I left the house on the 8th and uh, I've been running pretty hard since then so uh, I can't complain too much done pretty good now the plan is next week I'm already booked up but we already got a reload out of Wortland Kentucky and for you guys that follow followed for a while I've loaded out of there quite a few times we're gonna get big steel beams out of Wortland and take them back up to Wisconsin. So I think the worst of the snow should be done by the time we head up to Wisconsin. Uh, and then we already got a load out of Wisconsin going back to Kentucky. That's gonna put us in Kentucky on Thursday. And then um, from then, we got till, I'm, I'm flying back home on Tuesday. You guys notice I didn't have the dog. Uh, next Tuesday I'm going home My wife and I are going on another little vacation we planned this a while back uh, and I kind of had the intentions of flying home freight so hit and miss trying to get loads to Arizona that it's hard to get a load to Arizona when I need to be there so uh, that one, that's the reason so uh, once I get to Kentucky on Thursday we're just gonna try to stay really close to Louisville and uh, do some short stuff but no no it's been doing good I know I think every load I've hauled since I've left Arizona has uh, has been a tarp load but uh, that's all right I need to exercise so not too bad all right 
So we're going to make our way down 47 here. Uh, I don't know how far it is. Uh, I've done this before down here to 74. It's been a while. But uh, it's between two lane and four lane all the way down there. Uh, so back roads. With the snow, it should be pretty. All right, I'll be quiet. Done talking. Enjoy the scenery. Talk to you later. Illinois, cheaper Illinois fuel because you know Indiana got expensive fuel now. So, um, I think what we're going to do too is go ahead and whoop, Mr. Gear, go ahead and head down to uh, Louisville, spend the night at Louisville, and do our laundry and whatnot. Uh, from Louisville to where we got to deliver is about a little over three hours. So uh, it's supposed to snow some more tonight, but it's like 40, 42 degrees in Louisville right now. And it's 20, it's 20, 26 degrees here. So apparently the cold front or the line in the cold front is, uh, somewhere down around Indianapolis but uh, now coming down 74 or 47 I mean highway 47 it wasn't that bad uh, it was you know snow covered and there was a couple spots there where you had to figure out where the road was but other than that it wasn't that bad I mean it's snowy but not terrible so we're gonna top her off it's a fuel that's going to put us right at our max. And if we're a little bit over, we'll blame it on the snow and ice. So, anyway. All right. Let me get some fuel and I'll check back in with you guys in just a minute. All right. We got our fuel. 
Man, it is cold out there. Wind blowing. It is a little chilly. Oh, so we got about, uh, what did I say, 200 something miles down there. Google Maps says uh, it's not that bad. Oh, let me show you something. Hang one second. So I was expecting to load this morning after the snow and I went and bought a snow shovel because <laughs> I thought I was going to have to, uh, I thought I was going to have to scrape off the trailer before I got loaded. <laughs> so I stopped and bought a snow shovel. Hang on, I got to tie my shoe. Alright, yeah, so some places that you go to, they require the deck to be clean of snow. And uh, I was expecting like seven or eight inches of snow. See, we got lucky. It got loaded yesterday. Uh, I went down there and we got loaded early because we were supposed to load at nine o'clock this morning, which would have been right in the middle of the snowstorm. So uh, we got lucky. They loaded us last night before it started snowing. But uh, I was expecting to wake up this morning with about six, seven inches of snow on the deck of the trailer with uh, no way to clean it off. So I stopped and bought a snow shovel. I don't know, I don't know what I'll do with it. I, I, I'll strap it on, I'll never do, I'll no, know if I'll ever need it. I have never needed a snow shovel before. If somebody put a shopping cart in front of that guy's truck. I wonder if he'll uh, check before he leaves. I don't know where it came from. It must be a Dollar General store or something. Oh man. So anyway, it's supposed to be a little bit warmer down around uh, Louisville, Louisville. So hopefully it won't be that bad down there. It's supposed to be, and it's supposed to be raining down there right now. So it'll wash some of the snow and ice off the truck. Oh, there's Dollar General right there. That's where it came from. Well, I hope he takes it back. Don't give us truck drivers a bad name for stealing the shopping carts. But yeah, no, the wind is blowing and we're kind of going straight into the wind. So, uh, it's sucking up some fuel. But we should be all right. All right, let's, uh, let's make our way back onto the interstate. We're gonna go through Indianapolis and then we're gonna get on 65 and go south. Like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and go on down to uh, Louisville to Mercer. Um, they got the washer and dryers down there. They got big commercial washer and dryers and they're free. Uh, the washer and dryers at the Petro where I was thinking about going, they're like $3 to wash, $3 to drive, uh, dry, and I got three loads of laundry. So what's that? Three, six, nine, no, that's more than that, $18. $18 to do laundry so it's only 30 miles further to run down to uh, Mercertown USA so hopefully we get down there before it gets dark all right let's get out of here and talk to you guys in a bit
sitting here waiting for all these files to uh, upload so I can make a video. Uh, we made it over here to uh, Louisville last night. Um, it got a little... Uh, as we got closer to Louisville, it turned into rain, and then late last night, it uh, it turned into uh, an icy snow. So I'm parked over here in the lot over here at Mercer, and you can see this is what they call the driver's lot, and this is uh, so the other lot that I park in is on the on the side of that building. But uh, I parked over here. I did my laundry this morning, and uh, but it was raining. It was raining when I got here last night. And, uh, and then I, the laundry room was full, so I waited till this morning. So I woke up early, did laundry. I'm just sitting here now uh, trying to put together a video. Um, it's Sunday. We still have about three hours of driving to do today to go over near Huntington, West Virginia. Uh, we're probably going to leave about noontime and then go camp out in front of where we have to uh, unload. The temperature's not supposed to get very warm today. Like, it's supposed to stay below freezing all day. But I figured by noon, maybe they'll have the uh, roads clear, clear enough, and uh, we can move out. But uh, it, yesterday wasn't too bad. We, we had a little bit of snow. Um, you know, there was a couple areas that were a little, little iffy. Uh, Indianapolis was a little slow, uh, snow covered coming around Indianapolis. I get worried, uh, especially when there's a lot of traffic around me. It's not so much me sliding out of control. I worry about somebody sliding out of control and hitting me uh, more so than anything. But uh, all right, let me finish putting this video together and uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.